Ken East 3 Nishimura, known as East 3, uses his hip-hop art style to connect with youth about drugs. By teaming up with the Hawaii Meth Project, he has been able to give a fresh look to the project's life-saving message about not using methamphetamines, not even once. Doing an art workshop and then learning about what Hawaii Meth Project does, it really, really helped me understand what their purpose is. And now I'm glad and very humbled to be able to pass on this message through art. We're not trying to influence the adults. We're trying to influence the kids. The average person in Hawaii starts meth around age 19. We want to make sure that the kids of today understand the dangers of meth. So when, not if, because we know it's going to be when, they are faced with the opportunity to try meth, they've got the facts. Lydia Earls, a junior at Hawaiian Mission Academy, serves on the Teen Advisory Council of the Hawaii Meth Project, along with 21 other teens from around the state. I joined the Hawaii Meth Project Teen Advisory Council because their message helped me make the decision to stay away from meth, and I want others to make that decision too. I like East 3's style of art. I think it's appealing to teens and a great way to get the message out about not trying meth. A lot of artists tend to just kind of concentrate on their own personal career. I wanted to give back in some sort of way, and so I guess everything was pretty synchronistic. Part of the vision was also working with the community. So I often ask the principals and, um, you know, the people around the uh, schools what they thought would be appropriate for the school and a lot of them chose the aquatic mural in Kahuku they chose the youth I guess because it gives it a different flair and it, it'll identify with them a lot more so the principal thought it would be best to illustrate a bunch of characters that were in the age group. Every mural stands out because of the energy that the community gives it. During the fall months East 3 and the Hawaii Meth Project have been on several campuses around the islands. We started in Kauai at Kapa'a High School and we received a proclamation from the mayor. And we moved over to Maui, which is at Maui High School. We got tons of support there and it was, it was incredible. We did a huge mural there. Then we moved to Kona, which we got to do Keala Kehi Elementary. And I asked them, I said, do you know what this mural means? It's like, don't do drugs, not even once. And they already knew about the message. So I thought that was very impactful and important. And here we are at Kahuku, the last mural of the NAMP fall. I know we're making an impact and the message comes along with that. And it's both important, equally important. Because of involved volunteers and concerned individuals like East 3, the Hawaii Meth Project continues to positively impact the decisions of today's generation. This is Melanie Diaz from Hawaiian Mission Academy for Hikino.